Jimmy Fallon, host of Fox Across America on Fox News Radio. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Never heard of an Uber. You don't have enough money to. It, I was going to say, just... with all the stock tips they've gotten through the years in Congress, this guy couldn't get a Lyft, couldn't get an Uber. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but I actually don't expect him to get like prison time. I think the judge would sentence him to like time served for being married to Pelosi for 40 years. I mean, hasn't the man suffered enough, Your Honor? How about an I'm sorry? Yeah, I like mean, a public I'm sorry to the car the duty hit and injured. Yeah, it smoked a guy. Uh, no apology, no ownership. Uh, the one thing that shocked me about this case is the Democrats haven't used it yet to push electric vehicles. Like, you know, if you were driving a Tesla, it would have been aluminum, might not have been as much an impact. No, uh, self driving cars. Yeah, smaller, <laughs> smaller climate impact. I'm like, duty hit somebody. Self driving car. I was in the passenger seat. Thank you. <laughs> the, the driver's seat was empty. <laughs> That's funny. You never, it's, it's never beneath them to do that. Well, moving on to more do as I decree, not as I do. Newly revealed emails show climate czar John Kerry's office consulted with left-wing environmental groups. The communications happening as he made policy recommendations on key climate and energy issues. Some of those emails dated from before the major G7 summit last year, and this causing some concern. Documents show several Kerry officials suggested some topics be kept off paper. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Nobody will find out. I know, I'm, I'm so shocked. I mean, this whole thing is a scam. We've known that since day one. Uh, you know, I'm surprised he didn't just eliminate the middleman and meet directly with China, because they're the only ones who benefit from this. This is ridiculous. All the solar panels are made there, and they're not even paying attention to climate change either, opening up coal plant after coal plant. All we've essentially done with green energy, since we all share the same planet, but we're the only ones really cutting emissions, is we've created a no peeing section in the pool. But it's all the the same pool, so we're basically swimming in the filth anyway. That's the thing. Thank, and, yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> that beautiful now analogy. I'm, yeah, now I'm distracted. The only thing I'll defend Carry on really quick is he has to fly private because if he flies commercial, everybody in the airport thinks it's Mr. Ed, and then they want to pet him and they want to ask about the TV show. Yeah, I was going to make a joke about the size of his head, <laughs> you know, with the other passengers on the it on the commercial fit. airliner. He needs a jet all yeah. just for his own it, noggin. It, it's hard to ask the guy next to you not to use a plastic straw when you've got that much plastic in your face. Like I get it, it's hard for him. No, no, we don't. We we have no no confirmation of that. <laughs> no, con no confirmation of that. But again, his wife does own. The um, charter, the jet charter company, and he has a stake in it. So Unreal. they're profiting from polluting the, you know, mm -hmm. damaging Mother Nature. Of course. So I, this is my favorite story. This is better than the Lopez Ben Affleck wedding. <laughs> She's Finland's prime minister and a controversial party girl. Sana Marine's office says her drug test has come back negative, Jimmy. A test over. After the backlash over these videos, the 36-year-old leader doing some dirty dancing at a party. Some wondered if she'd been using drugs. Again, the test was negative. She did admit to drinking. And another video was recently published by a Finnish tabloid showing her dancing closely with a man who's not her husband. Some critics are calling her out for all of it. But Maureen insists that any partying is done on her own time does not impact her job performance, and some are rallying behind her. The Wall Street Journal with a piece stating business women and politicians are supporting the prime minister and her work hard, play hard message, asking how is a woman criticized for doing something almost every human being enjoys? <laughs> Let me replace human being with dude, man, male. <laughs> what say you? Yeah, you don't expect this kind of behavior from a country whose number one export is Finlandia vodka. You know, they're not known for anything else but drinking booze. Uh, there's no celebrities. There's no famous athletes from over there. I think a lot of us uh, are just jealous that their president has the energy to make public appearances. You know, you really wouldn't worry about this with our president. The guy's on like his 73rd vacation of his presidency right now, has the public appearance schedule of a groundhog. But uh, it's not a good look for a head of state, that being said. I mean, she looked like she was auditioning for the next season of Jersey Shore. Uh, but I found the whole thing hilarious. I see the entire thing as like an advertisement for travel to Finland. Yeah, <laughs> you just want to go there. They're like, even the president's hammered. We're having a good time. And I don't mean this in a sexist sort of way, mm -hmm. but... Do all the women in Finland look like her? <laughs> you made a really do good they point. All, do they all enjoy themselves quite in that fashion, in that manner? Are they all that welcoming and I, joy, filled with joy? I, I appreciate you reading my talking points for me so I don't have to look sexist. Yes, I, I agree with go. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm I there. I was checking it out on a map. It's between Sweden and, I think, Russia.
It's, it's Finland is like the happiest place in the world, and now I think we know a little bit more about why. I did some research. It's you know the land of a thousand lakes or whatever. No, it's like 136,000 lakes. That's funny. I like researched that. too. I, watched... I was going to quote Tolkien about the <laughs> Finnish language. <laughs> then you realize there is a, a Tolkien quote. There is a J.R.R. <laughs> Tolkien quote that I will withhold. Jimmy, mm. this one's for you. The Associated Press updated its style guide. The goal is how to best use the pronoun she. Don't use the pronoun she in reference to nations, ships, storms, or voice assistants. I mean, Siri, except in direct quotations, use it in instead. Big reaction, one Twitter user, I will from now on refer to Mother Nature as birthing parent nature. Another, I bought a 20-volume dictionary from 1989 and in a futile <laughs> attempt <laughs> at the preservation of language. I'm good with she. I, uh, allow any automobile, if you got a car, Call her or she. Hey, Pick call whatever name. you want. Here's the news flash. Your car doesn't know. Your boat doesn't know. Why are we degendering things that don't know? Like, what's next? Hurricanes? Be on the lookout for Hurricane Them. It's coming. We're all going to be in big trouble. Hurricanes ha do have male they've always, names. But they've had male. They've had female. But the point is, it's a gendered, la it's gendered names. And are we just going to get past that completely? Because the idea of a ship actually goes back to, like, ancient times. They've called them she forever, and it was considered an indication of powerful women. That's yeah. why it was called she. So they were actually shouting out women. Now they're like, nah, women can't have nice things. Your boat's called it. Right. What Give are, me a what break. Are, what are we going to get? One of those, like, little pedicabs on the street or an electric <laughs> scooter? The only thing it would have been... Dude, women yeah. don't ride those electric scooters because we're too smart. You yeah. dudes ride them with no helmet because yeah. you don't know any better. Dummies. But yeah, no, the, the only place this would have worked is on the Titanic if you called it in and said they are sinking because it would have been the, the boat and the people. But of course, the Titanic was caused by climate change. We all know that iceberg was only there for that reason. So I'll go with the AP on this one. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. I'm upset about him. <laughs> she's, she's all around. Jimmy Fallon, thank you so much.